Hello and welcome to this new Starfield video and finally Starfield is out in the wild and on our hard drives and we can start playing. I've got a few hours into the game, five to be exact, and I'm really loving it. It is all I have wanted for. It's a Bethesda RPG through and through with lots of stuff to loot, lots of stuff to explore, and I can't wait to see what wonders the universe in Starfield has to offer. I know for certain that it will keep me busy for a long, long time, as I just love these kind of games where you can just get lost in the game world. But I've collected some really cool tidbits and information for you, so let's jump right into the video and talk about some cool stuff. For example, what you can do with your screenshots, a few bugs here and there, but then some general information about bugs. Then I've got some information on FOV in Starfield, also HDR and widescreens. And for some, maybe a very important and interesting information on the main quest. So stick around for this until the end of the video, but now let's jump right into it. But let's start right away with some cool information about the photo editor in Starfield. Not only can you take some really cool screenshots with it and capture your most memorable moments in the game, but those screenshots also have another function and all those Fallout 76 veterans amongst you might know what I'm talking about because this was already a feature in Fallout 76 and it is now also in Starfield because look at that. All your screenshots that you take become loading screens in Starfield. And like the Redditor says here, this is so cool. And I share the opinion here from the Redditor. He says, this is so cool and I can only agree. This is a really, really good example on how to utilize those screenshots and I'm wondering why not every game is doing that. That really creates a cool connection and bond with your game and I love seeing it here in Starfield. So go ahead and use the photo editor and go capture some of those precious moments in the game and relive them in your loading screens. Next I wanted to share a really funny clip with you I found over on Reddit because a user posted this one right here. Yep, it's definitely a Bethesda game and I love it. Some reviewer wanted to steal a ship and then this happened. Yep, the pirate pilot just took off and the player fell right through the hull of the ship. So there are definitely some bugs and you might encounter some, but to be honest, Starfield seems to be very, very well optimized. And I think this right here is the overall opinion of Starfield and bugs because Mortismo Gaming said I could boot up Skyrim and Fallout 4 right now and encounter more bugs than I have in my 120 hours of playing Starfield and yeah that's definitely true I haven't encountered a single bug in five hours of playing the game granted I'm not really far in and there can happen so much stuff along the way but for a Bethesda game, this is really good and it seems to be really well optimized. Let's take a look what others have to say about that. That's really funny too. Angry Bearded Mechanic says, while this makes me extremely happy, for some very strange reason I also feel somewhat cheated. And Nova Wolf says, yeah, part of the charm of Bethesda games is seeing all wacky stuff that made it past QA. And the next user also agrees. He says bugs are usually the best part. Goes to show though, Todd really wants this game to be a success. Dude, I can't wait to see the mods for Starfield. And I really have to agree on that. Whilst on the one hand, it is really nice to see that this game is as polished as it seems to be. For me, I also enjoy the bugs because I always find them pretty funny. As long as they're not game breaking or progress breaking. I think a buggy game isn't all that bad. Let me know in the comments down below if you ran into any bugs and if so, what happened? I'm really curious about your experience with the game. If you did enjoy the video so far, please consider showing some love and giving it a thumbs up. That would help me and the channel extremely. And if you want to see more content from me for Starfield, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and activate the bell notification so you never miss a video. But now let's move on with the content. And now I want to share another really funny screenshot with you I found over on Reddit. Don't worry, this is not a spoiler. I checked it already, but the user said, okay, I may have picked up too much stuff on the first mission and yeah, just take a look for yourself. <laughs> he might, 
He might. Let, let's put it that way. That's really funny. Like always, you can just pick up everything and drop it wherever you want. And yeah, I found this really hilarious. That's exactly what's ticking off all boxes for me. Just doing stupid and crazy stuff in this vast open world they created as a huge sandbox for us to play in. Absolutely freaking love it. Next, I wanted to talk about some graphical issues that Starfield presents to PC users, especially because you can't change the FOV, for example. There is no slider or possibilities to change the field of view in game. So there's a workaround for that. And also, if you're like me and bought an ultra wide monitor for Starfield, especially, then you then you probably are kind of disappointed because Starfield itself doesn't support ultra wide monitors natively in game. It does support 21 by 9 aspect ratios, but it doesn't support the ultra wide format 32 by 9. So if you're like me and saw the footage from Gamescom where they showed off Starfield on the ultra wide monitors from Samsung and then went ahead and bought one, then you're probably kind of bummed out. But there's also a workaround and a fix for that and we'll talk about that right now. But first let's check out the solution for FOV. So you can change your FOV, it's been tested and confirmed. You have to navigate to Documents, My Games and Starfield. There you have to create a text file and name it starfieldcustom.ini. So go ahead and create that text file. Then you have to add the following four lines into the text file. Only this, that's the only thing the text file has to contain. Then go ahead and save it and close it again. And now, when you boot up the game, it should start with a wider FOV. Now we're gonna talk about ultra-wide support or 32 by 9 support, which was shown by Bethesda on Gamescom, but seemingly is not in the game, at least not natively. There's also a workaround for this, so let's check things out. This was the original post over on Ultra Wide Master Race, and that's exactly how the game looked on my screen. So no support right there, but then a user posted a solution, but it's kind of complicated, so I'll break it down for you and I'll show you exactly what to do. First, you have to download I'm Hex, and if you don't know that program and you don't have the link, go check out the video description. I post all the links to my sources in the video description where you can just open up this post over on Reddit and then download it from there. It should look something like this. That's the page you're landing on and then just scroll down until you get to this file over here, Windows Portable x86 underscore 64.zip and go ahead and download this one right there. Then you just go ahead and extract the zip file and open up the I'm Hex exe and now it looks like this. This is the program and now you navigate over to your Steam folder of Starfield make a copy of your starfield.exe. If you've done so, just drag the original exe into I'm Hex and it should look something like this. So now let's go back to the Reddit post and let's see what we gotta do next. So next you should go ahead and copy this string right here. Just copy those letters and numbers and then you go over to I'm Hex and just press Ctrl F to open up the search bar paste the string into it and search for it. Now we found it right here. As you can see, it's pretty small, but I think you get it. It will highlight those numbers and letters. And then you go back to the Reddit post and copy the numbers and letters under point number four. Copy those, control C, go ahead and select all those four numbers in I'm Hex and then copy paste the new numbers and letters into that exact position. And now you can just start Starfield via Steam. It will open correctly and it also will be full screen on your widescreen monitor. I tried it myself on my computer and it worked perfectly. If something does go wrong, you still have a backup of your exe file. Just go ahead and make another copy and start over again. I hope this fixes the problem for you and have fun gaming in ultra wide. Next, I want to talk about a very interesting post by Tom Warren, the senior editor at The Verge over on Twitter. He said, I've seen some people suggest it's best to play Starfield's main quest first and get to New Game Plus. That's what I did and I think it's the best way to play Starfield, but for spoiler reasons he can't explain just yet. 
That's very interesting. I know many of you, me included, like to just wander around in open world games or RPGs, do anything the world has to offer and then some dozen hour later maybe attend to the main quest. But Pete Hines from Bethesda also hinted during a Q&A on Gamescom that there is something special to New Game Plus in Starfield, so it seems like there will be some big revelation or something changes in the game which makes it worth getting there faster than usually. I don't know, I'm really curious and I didn't want to rush the game, but this information kind of struck a nerve and I really want to know what happens when you complete the game. So maybe, I don't know, I'll play a little bit faster or a little bit more concentrated on the main campaign. How about you? How are you going to play Starfield? Let me know in the comments down below, will you be rushing to the end because you want to see what New Game Plus has to offer or will you just explore at your own pace, wandering around and just go with the flow? Let me know, I'm really curious. But that's it for the video, I hope you enjoyed it and found it informative. If so, please give it a thumbs up and help the channel out. I wish you all an awesome day and I'll catch you in the next one.